Do not, do not, I repeat, stress yourself out getting ready for your house guests. It's a lot easier said than done, but John Gidding, host of HGTV's Curb Appeal and Design to Sell, are, is here in our studio making sure that we, A, don't stress, and B, provide a really just homey and wonderful um, welcome to exactly. our guests. Exactly. I mean, no one wants to stress. I'm so glad you brought that up. I used to stress when guests were coming over. I still do. Do you still? Yes. Here's your, your solution to all the stress. That looks like stress to me because it's so <laughs> perfect. It's, you know, color coordinated. It's just, it's got the little extra little... What? Touches. You saw me. I had the jacket off. I was putting this together. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, it's And true. the thing is, everything that you see here came in this bag right here. It's just a little duffel bag. So everything fits in this and goes in the closet? Exactly right. Or shoved under a bed? Or shoved under a bed. Wherever you've got a little bit of storage, just for this amount of space, you can keep every single item that you need to create a really welcoming guest suite. So where do we start? When we start, I, I'm, I'm guessing step one would be organization because it has to be organized in that bag for us to even get to the point to pull it out. You know, Stephanie, I just, I just threw it all in there. I didn't even like really worry about uh -huh. it. Everything was already relatively compact. The big key element, of course, is an air bed. Right. And I always try to find one that's actually a double air bed because, you know, there's the ones that are really close to the ground. Yeah, you, you literally have to get down on right. the ground and then kind of climb on and the thing kind of you know, and flops to the ground. Not never, very comfortable. Right. Uh, the thing to keep in mind is what was your favorite hotel experience like? Okay. It wasn't one where you were crawling around on the ground trying to find a bed. It was the one that was uh, had a regularly sized bed in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's important to find that bed and that's what I love about the Coleman's. You can actually fold them in half and it's a full size bed or you can keep it open and it's a queen size bed. Well, and I love the touches because you've truly created a little space, you know, what with your little rug. <laughs> everything's color coordinated. So yeah. once we have the air mattress, then do you suggest picking a color scheme, like you said, from an inspiration place, an inspiration stay? Absolutely. Okay. And color coordination is important because the last thing you want your guests to feel is that you just threw this together at the last minute. You didn't even think about their arrival. Or pulled you know? out an old comforter that you no longer like on your bed. Exactly. Because it's too, you know, worn <laughs> out, so you throw it on the floor for them. Right, right, right. And and my color scheme here was based on the fact that I love including a little bit of lavender in all my sort of guest um, welcoming scenes, as mm -hmm. I've done here. And so I, I incorporated that color in, as well as just the, the creams and the blues. I just keep it simple. How about the sheets? Do we invest in the sheets, you know, to make them nice and crisp and, you know, however many count? You know, absolutely. It's the one thing that they're going to touch and feel good within. However, I try not to invest. Um, I try to get everything I can for free. Um, Tell me how. <laughs> Tell me more. I like free. <laughs> this is my new tip. Okay, so here's the thing. If you want to get stuff for free, we all have credit cards, right? I've got right. an American Express. The American Express Membership Rewards website has everything you want for the home. So instead of using my points for travel, I purchase this stuff. Oh, okay. Everything so using the, the points for something that's not going to just be a one-time deal. Exactly. Now, so, I like this little vignette you've set up over here with, you know, the little... Um, a little soap and, the, and the, yeah. Tell, tell me what we would need to do to personalize that space and how you know, you know, if it's appropriate for your guests. And Absolutely. Such. And this is where I rely on that hotel experience. You want a little bit of reading. You want a candle. You want some tea to make them feel welcomed into your home. You want to give them some towels and some soap that's just their own. You don't want to give them the half-used soap that you keep in the gift. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I might enjoy going to stay at your house. Yeah. You're, you've thought of it all. And what you see here is I, I actually brew a little bit of tea for them as they get to bed. It's something to help them calm them down. You know, something that's, you know, no, no caffeine, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you light the candle. You put a piece of soap there. And they feel so welcomed into your home. It's almost like a baby hotel within your house. And then again, convenience is when you're done, you put the little teapot away, you put exactly. everything back into the bag. And what's amazing about this little vignette is I use gift cards again from the membership rewards points. So even if you can't find it on that website, you can just get the gift cards for it. And everything here is from one of the partners of American Express. I'm not sure if people can tell, but even there are, uh, let me pull those out. There are some little truffles hiding behind this. <laughs> I mean, John has thought of everything. That's right. Oh, truffles. look at those truffles. So just the little touches that show that that really don't take a lot of time. You just kind of organize it and maybe have a little list that you know it's coming right. out of the bag. And depending on your generosity, how generous a person are you in real well, life? I like to think I'm very generous. <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to check with my friends, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll ask them. But what I like to do is actually gift some of these items so they'll, they can keep the candle, they can keep the slippers, whatever they like. You know, when you leave our hotel, you're like, oh, I really like those slippers. I wish yeah. I could keep them. Just keep them. They're only a couple bucks. In fact, they're free if you get them with your credit card points. So just keep them. Give them away. And lastly, tell me about your show. Uh, we can still see it. Absolutely. And, um, it's such a good show. Yes, HGTV's it is. HGTV's Curb Appeal the Block. It's on every Saturday night at 9.30. All right. We'll come to mine. I would my love house. to. We, we've got <laughs> lots of curbs to 
create some appeal on. <laughs> we'll enjoy your stay here while you're here, Thank and you then much. we'll look for you next time. Should I leave this for you? Do you want to take a nap? Later? Yes, I think I will need a nap <laughs> later. Yes, and you can leave the truffles too. <laughs> you can find John's four tips to creating the perfect experience um, for your guests on our website, right under the lifestyle.